Well, I'm glad that you just really enjoy your experience because not a lot of people love what they do, no matter what that is. Did you enjoy being a police officer? Out of curiosity. I did. As a little girl, it's what I always wanted to do. I wanted to be an undercover spy. My Both my parents, my mom, my dad, and my stepdad are all police officers. So wow. it was just what I grew up. It's the only thing I ever knew. From the time I went, my dad was a Green Beret Special Forces when I was a, a, a baby. And I used to jump from the top of the refrigerator yelling, airborne, <laughs> when I was little. So it's the only, it was like I was bred to do that. I didn't know nothing else my whole life growing up. So I'd already applied to the police academy while I was still in college that I went right into that and worked the night shift. And like, that was always what I planned to do. And then I one day decided to try out for the amazing race and never looked back. What does your family think about you doing the playboy thing? Well, my dad and my stepmom live in a town with one blinking traffic light in South Georgia. So <laughs> this is thrilling to them. My stepmom makes the, it makes me send bulk packages of headshots that I sign to every, literally every sheriff, every <laughs> hardware store person in town. Everyone has a headshot of me. They even make me go in and talk to like my, my I have a nine year old sister. She's nine now. You know, her elementary school. I'm like, I don't know if it's appropriate. Like, <laughs> like Michelle, don't you think we're going? I mean, I don't know. I just <laughs> maybe we can do the whole cheerleading amazing race angle when we go to the elementary school. But I mean, they're they're so excited and so proud, you know, because they're they're like from such a small town. It's really exciting for them. And my mom is had me when she was 15 years old. And so she's my best friend and has always kind of lived a little bit vicariously through everything that I do because she you know, left school in ninth grade to have me. Yeah. And then she ended up, maybe when I was in fifth grade, she became a police officer and has now been there for 22 years, but never got to go to prom, never was a cheerleader. You know, these didn't go on the amazing race. So everything I do, like, she's like, when I told her that he said yes, she said, oh my God, I got goosebumps. <laughs> she's just so excited for everything that I do. It's 100% supportive. So Lauren, how about your parents? I mean, it's the same thing. Obviously, I I became a playmate on national TV, and they um, I made sure before I even went on the show. I have a huge extended family too. My dad's the oldest of eleven children. Oh my gosh! And so I made sh- and I, ten of them are boys. So <laughs> wow, I made sure with all my uncles and everything. I was you know that everything was cool, even grandparents and everybody was totally supportive of it. And it's funny you say about the elementary school in my. My elementary school, where my nine-year-old nephew now goes, there's actually a picture of me hanging in there um, that they put back up after I was in Playboy of a modeling shot that I did when I was in school there. And but now it hangs in the elementary school and has my name and everything. So, I mean, it, most people are totally proud. And, and um, yeah, the same thing that my, my grandparents always call, and they're wanting pictures. And we sign a magazine for this guy at my in my hair salon or where I play bingo. That's being my grandma's like always like, I need one for bingo. This guy. Bingo? Yeah, bingo. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like, you know, everybody just, everybody's been supportive. I mean, I don't think my dad, I have a dad and stepdad, and I don't think either of them really look at the pictures so much, <laughs> but um, they're very proud. So did you have the medical spa before or after Playboy? That was after that. And I, I owe that to Playboy as well because I, I opened a, uh, my first tanning salon actually because of Playboy. Um, I wanted to do the whole spray tanning thing, bring that to Gainesville where I'm from because they were doing that in L.A. It was just the beginning of that whole spray tan craziness. So that's why I started my first business to bring sort of like an L.A. thing to my small town. And, um, and then I opened a second one and then I decided to do the whole medical spa thing. And my medical spa is all Hollywood themed. Oh. Um, Playway actually last July ran a um, ran a little article about it with a picture of it about my medical spa. And um, I have a Playmate room where I have pictures of all the Playmates and have them signed to my salon. And so I owe that to Playway as well. And that my sister's my partner. So her and I own um, owe our livelihood to Playboy and have. Wow. So what would you say to any woman here in St. Louis if they wanted to get involved with Playboy? What probably would be the best avenue? Because, I mean, we're kind of landlocked, basically. Well, there's a lot of options. They can mail in their photos, and there's actually casting calls across the country that they can actually go and have their pictures taken by a Playboy photographer. So I would actually do both. If it was me and I was going to go the route where, you know, I got lucky because they saw me on TV, but that wasn't that's not necessarily maybe, you know, feasible. But I would send them in, but I'm so kind of anal that I would think, did they get them? I haven't heard back. Right. So yeah. I would actually, I would send them in and I would go to a casting call. Okay. And I, you can look at playboy.com and there's a listing of where the casting calls will be. Um, and like there was just one in Kansas City or there's one coming up in Kansas City, which is not 
which is not, I mean, not that far away because I'm going to Kansas City on Saturday, so it can't be that far. I'm driving there. (laughs) So it must be within, you know, a reasonable distance. And there's quite a few girls that we get from the casting call to become playmates. There was um, three last year alone in my year that actually came from casting calls. And I would also say if they, if people decide to do that, to not get down if they don't hear right away, hear anything from Playboy right away, or if Playboy says no right away, because there's been numerous girls that get told no first, and then they get another call back and say, well, we'll come back to test. Or just, you know, so not to get down if if it doesn't happen right away. That's okay. a big thing. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, nothing. Just um, everyone should go check out playboy.com backslash seven crown to see our um, uh, campaign that that we're doing for the whiskeys and a chance and they to can win. actually they can actually play a little game which it's a they're calling it a contest but lo, neither Lauren and I win anything for being right. the, the the favorite flavor they're doing a <laughs> pick your flavor which is you know vote for vote for the cherry or vote for the honey which one you liked the best and then you can enter yourself into a sweepstakes to win two tickets to the Playboy Mansion. Get to go and see what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. okay. Hang out with us for a day. Very nice. Well, thank you both, Lauren, Jamie, thank for you. coming thank by. Thank you for having us. And uh, have fun tonight. We will. Thank you.